Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, and today we got Central Michigan, SMU, Idaho, Air Force, Akron, and then Navy to wrap up the season. So hopefully we win some games because we're not trying to get fired. I got high hopes for this team. As of right now, our quarterback is in the top six when it comes to passing yards. He has six rushing touchdowns, passing touchdowns, and interceptions. No good at all. No bueno, to, to, <laughs> to say the least. But um, I'm, I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful, hopeful, hopeful that we can win some games and that we can stay the coach of this program. I'm probably going to have another NCAA 06 uh, a series to go along with this one because if this one really is a pass happy air raid type of offense kind of want to do one where it's focus on ground and pound under the center and that might be a creative school so i'm thinking about that anyways though our first game is going to be central michigan we are two and four they are one and three we're ranked 117 they're ranked 105 and i'm hoping that our defense can supply enough resistance so we can figure out their defense before the game gets out of hand so we're going to throw that thing the door that pass is caught for a first down we get some pressure and on third down we batted away and Steve Jacobs is hurt and he's going to be hurt for the rest of the game so we got to take on their backup quarterback which works for us don't like to see nobody get hurt but I mean it works for us so first down 10 yards ago from the 37 yard line Brooks going to roll right throws that thing and that pass going to be caught by Glover put the glove on now it's going to be third down looking downfield and can we find somebody over we're going to roll to the left side and we're going to pick up a block. And we're going to pick up another block. And then we just work our way into a sack. And, man, that's not how you want the drive to win. But that's the way it does it. That pass, Ugly, Ugly, the backup quarterback throwing stones out there. Stone throws it to the left side. That pass caught but shy of the first down. So we take over via the three and out. Going to run this thing with Johnson. He has some space to operate. And that's going to result in a first down. That's what we want to see more of. Then run the ball, run the ball, and then pass the ball. Okay, maybe pass the ball, pass the ball, run the ball. But you know what I mean. Got to move the ball downfield. Harris forgot his hands on the bench. Then we throw it to Richards, and that pass falls incomplete. So both offenses are struggling until their glover gets loose and gets all the way into Gremlin State territory. Then they pitch it to Glover. Got a good block there. Another block downfield, and that's a touchdown. And we could be in some serious trouble. Whenever you can't stop the running NCAA 06, you're going to be in some trouble. So third down and nine. Brooks has it, throws it, and there goes Glover making the catch for us. So our freshmen coming through when we need them to. Bunch of freshmen on the squad. And that's why I'm so hopeful for the future. Look at Johnson pick up again a five. It's fourth and five. We throw it. Harris makes the catch. Another freshman there. Third down and 13. Brooks going to roll to the left side. That pass will fall incomplete. And we will put the ball away to them. Oh, that might have been fourth down. For all I know, we get the ball back to them. That's all that needs to be said. Central Michigan, though, they will go three and out. So we take back over. Brooks going to roll to the left side. Throws it deep. Glover is wide open. He gets inside the 30 with a fresh set of 10. So third down, we're rolling out to the right side. Now sending our feet, throwing it to Wagner, and that pass will fall to the grass. You guys set up for a field goal. The kick is up, and the kick is good. So we are down by four. The Chippewas take back over, and Glover is loose again. And Pat Williams, our best player, one of our best players, can't bring him down. Definitely our best freshman. And he is off to the races for his second touchdown run of the contest. And then we throw it in the harm's way, and Meade, he gets the INT. And just like that, they're up to the 10-yard line. Third down and six. They throw it. That pass caught by Glover, but way shy of the first down. So the 23-yard field goal attempt is up, and it is good, and we are down by 14. The O-line on this play holds up pretty well. We're able to find Richards, and we cross the 40-yard line. So we're going to drop back the pass. Got three receivers to the left, one tied into the right. We throw it down the middle. Caught by guess who? Glover is a man amongst boys today. Inside their territory with about a minute to go. We're going to throw this one, and we overthrow everybody. And that is basically going to bring that drive to an end. So start of the third quarter. We got Thomas back there. He is a walk-on quarterback that has all kinds of speed. When you walk on first-year quarterback gets playing time, you know your program is in dire straits. Because yo, who in the, who in history has a walk-on gets playing time? As at the quarterback spot, as Glover weaves through traffic like your mama knew hair do, and that's going to result in a touchdown right there. So, again, we are in the building stages in year number two, and hopefully, just hopefully, it works out for us. Thomas, he's in the ball game. He's going to keep it, and he will work his way upfield for a first down. From the 43-yard line, Thomas, loose to the 50, crosses 
the first down marker. So you know we're going to move those chains. Second down and 11. Brooks in the game. Looking. Sets his feet. Throws it deep. Caught by Richards. Caught from behind as he works his way inside the 20. Now we're at the two-yard line, and Brooks will keep it himself. Touchdown, Gramlin State. And we cut the lead down to 14. Can we get a stop? Stone is loose. And yeah, Stone is really loose. And the problem with going goal line is that you minimize how many guys have speed on your defense. We're already pretty slow. But when a corner gets blocked and your safety gets blocked, there's only one other guy that can catch him. It's the other corner from the other side, but they don't got no block sheds to say the least. And yeah, that's the result you're going to get. So we're going to keep it with our quarterback. And Brooks able to work his way upfield for a first down. Fourth quarter now. We kind of got to hurry this thing up. That pass going to be caught by Glover. He's been doing it all day long. Does it again there. It's going to be a first down. Second down, two yards to go. Brooks going to roll to the right side, throws it, and that pass caught by Richards. That he worked away inside the 20 and then inside the 15. Fourth down and six from the eight-yard line. Brooks rolling out, throws it, caught by Harris. Touchdown, Gremlin State. And just like that, y'all, we have cut the lead down some more. And then Alvin's like, yeah, yeah, cut, cut, cut this down, okay? Cut us down like this. And, yeah, we can't do it. We're not going to catch him. He's going to high step. That's a touchdown. And now it's 17 to 38. Down by 21. Can we seriously come back here? Maybe Thomas going to let this one fly. And look at the <laughs> look at the walk on throwing the football like that. Going to throw that thing to Wagner where Brooks was back in the ball game. And Brian's Brooks pass will get us to the 15-yard line. Now Brooks throws it to the left side. Caught by Harris. And it's going to be first and goal from the five. Going to run this option. He's going to keep a good block on the outside by Glover. And that's going to be a touchdown. Little five-yard QB keeper. And then I figured, let's kick the ball deep, trust our defense. And it's like, why would I do that? But I did, and Glover is gone yet again. Another high-step show. And it's 52-24 to 24 to end this ball game. Brooks went 27-49. of 49. Thomas went 1-2 of two passing the football, 23 yards passing. One touchdown, three interceptions for Brooks. Thomas led the way with 43 yards rushing, averaging 4.7 yards a carry. Bush, he averaged 6 yards per carry on 2 for 12. And then Wagner had a good day. Harris had a good day. Johnson had a good day receiving of course Glover did as well but it just wasn't enough our defense couldn't really get too many stop too many stops and that's just gonna happen our linebacker core is pretty weak outside of the defense attack the spot defensive end is pretty weak so we gotta figure some things out moving forward there so when it comes to recruiting, most of the guys I'm hoping can come by the Air, the Air Force game. Hopefully that will be the game these guys can come to town because we got a couple of road games like back to back to back to back. Michigan is ranked number one, followed by USC. And then Purdue was ranked number four, but they lose, and now they're ranked number 13. Maryland lost to Miami. They fall from 17 to 14. So some of the top 10 schools are now on side of the top, on the outside of the top 10. And Cal, they lost, and now they're outside of the top 20. They're still in the top 25. Eddie Monroe, he has to get suspended as well. It has been a crazy year. <laughs> Yo. I, I, I had to take some out of the budget for discipline, and I think that's causing guys to get suspended left and right. And then training also took a little hit, so I think guys are getting hurt left and right more than ever before. Anyways, take on SMU, and Gates has the punt return in his hands, and he's like, I got the whole world in my hands, and that's going to be a touchdown. And that's not how you want to open the ball game. So now it's third down and 17. Can we avoid putting the football deep in our territory again? The answer is no, as that pass will fall incomplete. And now... There goes Gates. Breaks a tackle. And there's no gate that's going to stop him. Gates to the touchdown. And it's going to be a touchdown. 14 Nada is now the score. Going to fire that thing. Johnson, he can't make the catch. And our offense is struggling to say the least. So let's go for it on fourth and five. I mean, we might have a better chance than putting the football away. And Williams, Pete, our free safety out there playing re receiver for us. Desperate times. Desperate measures. I need the best players on the field at all time. Johnson, he comes a lot of he gets a first down. Richards over the middle. He makes the catch for a first down. Third down and eight now. Can we get into the end zone? No, we get sacked. Now we're going to have to settle for a field goal. The 38 yarder should be in our range, and it is as we knock that thing over the uprights or over the crossbar, I should say. Moore going to throw this one, and that is a heat seeking missile that finds Dunlap in Gramlin State territory. Moore has it again, throws this one deep in that pass will fall incomplete. So we take over after the, they got to put the ball away on fourth down, and Johnson gets the carry, and he's going to work his way up that left sideline for a first down. Now we're going to roll out with Brooks, and we're going to finally let this thing fly, and it's going to be caught by Brown. We overthrew everybody except for Brown, and that's a problem because he plays for the Mustangs. 
And yeah, that's not a good thing when you're going up against a Pony Express, giving them, you know, extra time and extra, you know, ability to express. You feel me? More looking downfield. That pass caught by Gates, and Gates has the first down. Can our defense get a stop? That'll be a welcome change of pace, Harrison. Breaks a tackle, and he's just bouncing off the guys and has a first down. First and goal. Moore has it, and he's going to throw a bullet. And I don't think there was a defender that wanted to put his hand in front of that heater, but we should have. And we don't throw heaters. We throw just perfect temperature footballs, and that's going to result in a pick by Graham. They go up the gut with Harrison, and we can't stop nobody right now. 28-3 is the score. Brooks lets this one fly. That pass going to be caught by Johnson, and it will be a first down. So nice play right there. Thomas in the ball game to fumble the football. Demps jumps on top of that thing, and that is our third turnover. Now, we do get the ball back with the Yahoo Zay, her, that user interception. But at the end of the day, we got to do a better job protecting the football in our own right. And this might not be the play to do that, but hey, we do throw it in triple coverage and it's caught by Johnson out of the back for a nice play by him. Then we're under some pressure. You see that right tackle? Our right tackle is wearing yellow tape. That means he's a D-lineman. I did that to start the series just, you know, just, just to change it up. And, yeah, so our right tackle got suspended, and then he got hurt. And this is all kinds of bad as Harrison weaves. We, he's, he's just weaving through traffic. He's going to pick up a touchdown. So we're down 35-3, trying to get in a field goal range before the half is up, trying to just cut this lead down, you know, try to make it more respectable before, you know, they call a break and we go eat our orange slices and stuff. Wagner makes the catch right there. Brooks going to roll right, throws it. Caught by the lover, and I mean, his hands are stupid good. And we're going to settle for a field goal. Kick is up, and the kick is good. And it's 35 to 6 to end the first half. So they give that thing to Harrison again. And look at the blocking. That lane was massive. He even slowed up to wait for a Tiger defender to get him, and no Tiger defender wanted to get him, and went down 42 to 6. So a 36 point deficit. Can we come back? I hope so. That's a nice run. Now we can give the ball to Williams and our free safety with a nice spin move. Just, again, get whoever you can the football as early as often. Whether they play offense, defense, special teams, does not matter. Brooks looking downfield. That pass going to be intercepted by Thompson. Third down and 10. Moore has the football. And Moore waiting. Throws it. Caught by White. And when you give a quarterback that much time, he's bound to find somebody open. Going to find Gibson this time in the big tight end. Rumbling until Pete Williams puts his foot down. Said no more rumbling. That pass falls incomplete. And now they got set up for a field goal. The kick is up. And the kick is good. So 45 to 6 is now the score. Brooks going to roll right. Throws it. And that pass will be caught by Glover. And that is going to be a gain of 10 in the first down. Now Brooks going to roll left. Throws it to Glover who brings that one in. That big body receiver is just so beautiful like a big body bends. And push. And bush. Not, not, not push. Not, it's not the bush push. But this bush. Regular old bush. Picks up a gain of 9. And then Brooks does the rest with a touchdown. So there you go. We finally scored a touchdown, but it's definitely too little too late. They got their backup sending on fire. This one deep, and that pass will be incomplete because we have our starters. And our starters can be any team's backups. Well, not any teams, but these teams. We can be these teams' backups most likely. Third down and nine. Brooks going to roll to the left side, and he's going to get sacked. And that is not going to be a good look for us because that's just a fourth down and 15. And on fourth and 15, we throw it to Harris who drops, who, who just stopped running. He didn't drop nothing. He just stopped running on that route, and that's going to do it. The Mustangs beat the Tigers. Uh, our guy, Brooks, 17-36. Zero touchdowns and three interceptions. Three of them things. Now, the quarterback that wants to come to town, he is worried about playing time. Hopefully, he sees the quarterback playing like, I can beat out these guys, and I should be able to start or at least split carries or split snaps with the starting quarterback if I don't start, but I don't know if he's going to feel that way because how you play a quarterback will affect how these guys want to come to your school or the degree that they want to come to your school based on the way that you play quarterback. And right now, we're not playing quarterback that well. In his career, though, in these first year and a half, 6,000 yards passing. Absolutely ridiculous. Jay Glover, I got to suspend him. Now, I want to suspend him for a whole game because that's what the game suggests I do. But we only got so many discipline action points left. And we still got a few more games left this season. So we're going to just suspend him for the next half. So he won't be here the first half versus Idaho. He will be here for the second half versus Idaho. 
So Idaho is ranked number 85. We're ranked still in the hundreds. You know what I mean? It is what it is. Williams, he gets the carry. He's going to pick up a first down. Now we need 15 yards here. And we're going to throw this one. No, we're not. We're going to hang on to it. Now we do throw it deep. And it's caught by Wagner. Wagner coming through in a major way. Johnson gets the carry. To the 20. Works his way upfield. And that's going to be a first down. Now we're going to run the ball with Johnson. And Johnson has a clear lane for six. Touchdown, Gremlin State, and this might be one of the few times we have the lead to start the contest. Chambers has the football, throws it. I thought I was about to give me a Yahoo, huh? but it just wasn't meant to be. Chambers threw that one right by my forehead. And then look at Coley. Whenever your name is Coley, you got the ball, and he is balling just like that. Brooks going to roll to the left side, throws that thing to Harris, who forgot his hands back in the great state of Louisiana. Brooks going to roll left, throws that thing in the traffic, it's tipped and then picked, and that drive will come to a screeching halt. Chambers throws it, caught by the running back in the end zone, and that's going to be a touchdown last time I checked. Brooks going to roll to the right side, going to throw this one up top, and it's going to be intercepted, and man oh man, that's rough. That is really, really rough. First down and 10. Chambers throws it. Give me that. Yeah, who is a her? Give me another user pick. Okay, we're not playing around with these users. But I wish I could control everybody. I don't know if that would actually be a good idea. It might help, but I don't know. That pass will be caught by Richards. Short of the first down. Fourth and four we're going to go for. I mean, right not? We had our tight end open. But we threw it too fast. He can't catch up to that thing. He's still a tight end, not a receiver. And not like a tight end in a receiver's body or a receiver in a tight end's body. It's not like that. But we take back over. We're going to run this little screenplay. The blocking was okay, but the running was even better. And we have ourselves a gain of eight. So second down and two. We throw it to Richards. And if Richards was faster or just quicker, his slot receiver skills would just be so stupendous. But he's not that quick or fast. But Brooks is fast enough. That quarterback will pick up a first down using his feet. Third down and six. Going to throw that thing up top to Harris. Little comeback route to the outside. It's a first down. Third down and three. We run the ball. We don't get there. Going to set up for a field goal. Cut the lead down to four. So they're going to get this one with Gilliam at his own two. And he's loose. And we're not going to catch him. Pretty sure 50 wins a linebacker. He ain't going to catch him. That is a touchdown, and we are down 21 to 10 now. So it is getting ugly to, like, end this season. Getting real ugly. I thought we might have hopes for, you know, a ball game, but maybe that was a little bit overzealous. A lot bit overzealous. That pass is going to be caught by Johnson, and he gets dealt with at the one-yard line. Johnson gets to carry to the right side, and he will dive across the goal line. Touchdown. And now we're down by four again. But that means once you score, you got to kick the ball back to the opposing team. And the opposing team has Merrick. And he is gone. Touchdown on the kick return. They will kick the ball off or they will get the ball to kick, to kick off the second half. And then Coley doing what Coley's do. Coley's are known for beasting and feasting, especially in this region of the earth. And that's going to result in a touchdown. And now Brooks is going to roll to the right side. And Brooks is going to stop. He's going to pop. And, you know, Glover coming through after his... First half suspension, but they catch right there. Brooks gonna roll to the left side. He's gonna throw this thing towards the end zone. It's caught by Miller climbing the ladder. So we're sticking close, but can our defense get a stop? No, we cannot. Touchdown, Idaho. So Brooks, can you make a play for us? And if you can, can you do it quickly? And that's a great pass to Glover. But we do get tackled before you get to the end zone. So that's a little bit of a problem because we got to score as quickly as possible. But nice run right there. We get caught again before we score a touchdown. But we are in Idaho territory. Going to throw this one to the left side. Caught by Harris. Move those chains. For the 31 now. Brooks under pressure and down he goes. Yo, life is hard when you ain't got no protection. Going to fire that one. is tipped and then nearly intercepted again. So Idaho takes over. They fake the run. Chambers going to roll left. Throws that thing up top. That is a perfect pass to Sharp. First and 10. Chambers with all day in the pocket could do his little girl's hair and do his taxes at the same time. And that's going to be a touchdown pass. We're going to run the ball with Williams. And look at Pete. Look at the juke move. Pete Willie Will. Our free safety turn running back. Making things happen. And Chambers throws that thing into some traffic, but Coley got good hands like all state, so move those chains again. Play fake. They're going to fire that thing. Caught by Davis, and Davis is going to get a field for a first down. Second down and six. That pass caught. Like when you see it coming, but your players are just not fast enough to get there, you know you're just having a rough 
Dang, good thing some guys are more patient than others, or this controller might have been through my screen. You know me? First down, 10 yards to go. Brooks looking downfield. That pass going to be caught by Weber. Touchdown. All right. Let's go. Can we get a stop on defense? No, we cannot. And that's going to do it. 56 to 38 is the final. A little bit closer in this one than the previous two games, but it's still a loss. Now we can go back home, though. Okay, so we got a couple of home games coming up, and, 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 and that's a good look. Because, again, if we could try to finish somewhere close to as close to 500 as possible that would be ideal weber and miller they got two touchdown receptions and that's all you really need is a couple of touchdown receptions to make you feel a little bit better about taking an l all right so moving forward we got to do some recruiting this guy he's ready for a visit so air force there we go air force Akron, and navy the last three home games we're gonna have them come all for the air force as long as they want to playing time is big for him you can see though he's concerned about our quarterback play a little bit concerned. Well, that should be good news for you. You can just come in and play right away. So, uh, Lamont Strong, okay, he's looking forward to check out Gramlin, okay? He he wants to see game day. Hopefully, this will be a good day to come see the game day atmosphere. This center was still on top of his list, but he's still weighing his options. And Trey Moss, he's from Florida. He wants to make the visit here, so he's going to come to this game right here. All right. All right, so we got three of the four guys coming to town, and that should be a good look for us. John David Booty, he has the highest quarterback rating in college football, followed by Chad Henney. And then when it comes to the most yards, we are top five now. But we, but touchdowns to interceptions, I'm not going to show you that because it's quite embarrassing. Randy Smith, 1,200 yards rushing. 15 touchdowns with Dallas Lewis of West Virginia. That is not bad at all. Handy also has 15. Then Lewis, or no, Rawls, excuse me, Rawls, he has 19 touchdowns and 1,200 yards receiving. Imagine him on our squad. We will be lighting the skies on fire. But you know what? It is what it is nonetheless. So defense is not going to see no from Ground State on defense because we don't play defense that well. But maybe one day we will. Hopefully. And matter of fact, I take that back. Look at our guy Lawson. Four interceptions. And a bunch of those are Yahoo's and hers. Okay? So here we go. Air Force is ranked number 50. I was not expecting that. They're 7-1. They're 6-0 in conference. I was not expecting that. I was. I made a cupcake schedule, y'all. I'm not lying to you. You've seen the schedule. It's not that difficult. But, yo, Air Force... I always put these guys on the schedule, and I always forget they love to run the football. That time they pass it on fourth down, and it just zips right through our hands. Or just past our hands. Not really through them, but past them. Now, Brooks, I need you to play phenomenal football. Going to find who? Glover. He's been the man all video long. Third down and 10. We're going to roll to the right side. Throw this one to Glover. Makes the catch, but I needed him to break a tackle. So fourth and three. We're going to roll to the left side. Throw it in the traffic. And the recruit said he does not, he does not have strong faith in our quarterback position. And we're proving him right, and that's not what we want to do. So Landry makes a catch in the corner of the end zone. That's a touchdown, and there you go. Brooks going to roll to the right side, throws it to Williams, and not going to get the first down. So we're going to go for it on fourth and one, down 14 in our own territory, and we are going to wait and get sacked. Yo, like, like this game could not start off any worse, but we definitely bit off more than we can chew with Scourge and Air Force. But, like, the options, though, yo, I'm going to be honest with you. When I started this, as we catch it with Glover, gets inside the 50, I wanted to schedule a whole bunch of, like, FCS schools. I didn't have the option. Only week one I could announce for Southern, and then all the other weeks, like, I couldn't change the schedule. It was the darnest thing in the world, man. It was it was tough. It was tough scheduling these teams because I'm telling you, I was going to take on, like, ITT Tech. I was going to take on Mommy's Cooking Academy. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just it wasn't meant to be. As Hansbro gets loose, and Hansbro is going to take that thing high step and cross the goal line. 28-3 to is the score. We're still in the first half. That pass is going to be caught by Willie Will. He gets shut down before he can really get going. So, fourth and two. You guessed it. We're going to go for it, and we're going to throw it in traffic. And that pass will fall incomplete. Second down. No, oh, actually third down. Whatever down it is, does not matter because Thomas is loose. And Thomas, little option quarterback, going to pick up a first down. They're going to fake it to the up back. They're going to roll left, throw it, and it's caught by Gibbons. And they're going to give him a touchdown. Third quarter action now. Brooks going to roll to the right side. And he's going to break a tackle. And he's going to get out of bounds with a first down in his back pocket. They send for his way. 
We went through traffic trying to get out of Dodge and all four of them, but all four of them dove on top of my quarterback. Like, can someone on the O-line please protect? Richards makes the catch right there in triple coverage or double coverage, and that's going to look good on his highlight tape. Williams, he's loose, and Williams makes one guy miss before he gets hit and his legs and brought down. Now Brooks is going to drop back. That pass going to be intercepted. And why was Weber reaching behind him? I don't know, but hey, it is what it is. Sometimes that's the cards are dealt, and this was the slowest end around possible. But we had every slow guy on defense on the field on that very play, and nobody is even in the frame. Absolutely atrocious defense to say the least. Brick's going to roll to the left side, and he's going to get, not quite get out of bounds. He fumbles, and the ball does roll out of bounds. Stop the clock. Minute 56 to go here in the third quarter. And that's going to be caught by Richards. I mentioned the time because time is of the essence when you're down by 39 points. You need every second and every pass to be a good one. And as of right now, it's not that way. So under a minute to go here in the third quarter, time is going to keep it. It's, it's loose. And the football goes into the hands of Lawson. That's what I'm talking about. Looking for a Harris. And Thomas's pass will be caught for a first down. Showing that he can throw the ball just a little bit. Brooks looking to the right side. Those just one to Glover. He makes the catch. Man, oh, man, cover through that to eat that up. We need about a yard right here. We could run for it, but throw it to Harris. Pad your stats just a little bit. Because at this point, we got to figure out some way to crew players. So if we can just ball out at these positions, that might help. <laughs> that might help if we don't get fired. So Brooks, he's going to get upfield, and he runs into a roadblock in his fourth down of 14. Going to roll to the left side, going to let this one fly for a Harris diving attempt, but he can't make the catch, and we got to get the ball right back to the Falcons. And they run the ball, and Landry is loose. He goes untouched for a touchdown, and the fans are fed up. But they would have missed a great drive here. Play fake. We're going to roll to the right side, and we're going to let this thing fly. And it's going to be caught by Richards. Look at what y'all missing. Fourth down. Does not matter. We're going to throw this thing to Weber. Touchdown for the tight end. And that's that. That, that, that is going to do it. That, 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 <laughs> that right there is just sad. Not going to lie to you. It's just, it's, just, it's just sad. It's just sad. It's sad the way that this season is going. we got two more games. Hopefully we can win those two games. Because I think four games, four wins, excuse me, might help us keep our job. Because I'm not trying to get fired. Whether we get fired or not, I still want to have two NCAA series going on with our RG3 series going on and our pro football series going on as well. But, I mean, my goodness gracious, it's, it's rough out here. So we do get Lamont Strong to sign on the dotted line. So we have three recruits still out there, which isn't ideal, but, hey, it is what it is. So he has 4-3 speed, according to this, right? He also has excellent discipline, poor potential, but that's okay. He is who he is. Not going to expect him to be anything that he's not pretend, you know, going to be, potentially going to be. So quarterback, got a soft verbal from him. Oklahoma and Texas are right on our heels when it comes to recruiting him, so give him some more points there. This center, we're starting to separate, but not really, so give him some more points. And then we got a soft verbal from Troy Moss. Yeah. So our next game is going to be versus Akron. They are 1-7, 1-5 overall. 94 is their ranking. We are 1-18 and 2-8 and eight as we continue to drop game after game after game. We are the home team. Last three games, including this one and the last one, obviously, we are at home. So we want to make sure that we at least get the fans something to cheer about. And we're going to throw this one deep to Richards, and that pass will fall incomplete. So third down and nine. Can we avoid going three and out to start the ball game? Yes, we can by throwing an interception, and it's going to be a pick six. So I don't think that counts as a three and out because we never punted. We, we just gave the ball back to him on third down. So Brooks going to roll to the left side, rolls into some pressure, breaks the tackle, and then throws it in the traffic yet again. So just you know, run the football, direct snap. Williams is loose, and Pete Willie Will works his way into Akron territory. Brooks going to roll to the left side now, throws that thing on the frozen rope to Weber. Freshman tight end. Like I said, I'm excited for this team just because we're so young. But I don't know how much we can actually spend on training because all these guys are getting suspended, and we're losing our little discipline points. And those are kind of important. So Brooks going to roll to the right side, throws it, and that pass will be broken up. So we got to set up for a field goal. The kick is up, and that win came in, and we done, yeah, missed that kick. Pretty out. It's pretty awful, pretty awful to say at least. King to the right side, and King getting busy down that right sideline. They fake the run on first down, and that pass will be caught by Griffin. And when you got your best guy ripping at the football, you think he might rip that thing out, but then he doesn't. 
And then we have him in man coverage. So he can't help out Stallings, who's a receiver playing cornerback. We did change him to cornerback, but he's still, you know, still a learning curve there. So Pete is everything that we need him to be. Offense, defense, and special teams, possibly. We're going to throw that thing to the right side. Caught by Glover, who makes the catch for a first down. Second down and 10. We're going to roll to the right side. And Brooks throws that thing to Harris. He cuts it up, and that's going to be a first down. So nice run after the catch there. Thomas is in that quarterback to run the option, and he gets brought down behind the line of scrimmage. So fourth and five, and I couldn't tell you what in the world we were thinking here. As we throw it well underneath the first down mark, and we get tackled as soon as we throw it, and that's going to result in basically a turnover on downs. But we do get the three and out, so we do have a chance to score before the half is up, and Brooks decides to keep it. He's like, I got to trust my feet, and his feet leads him past the 40-yard line, which would be more than enough for a first down. Then we throw it. I don't know how we got that pass to Pete Williams, but we did. So now it's going to be second down. Brooks going to roll to the left side, and we're going to get sacked. So third down to 14 now. And we almost got sacked there. We're going to roll to the right side. And those boys from the Akron Zips can run, <laughs> to say the least. The zippity doo dah zippity A's are up by 14 before the half is up. So Scott, he makes a catch to start the second half. That's going to be a first down. King out there throwing the football just tremendously well. And yes, we were in position to make a, u a user, but the users are just not on point today. King breaking all kinds of tackles, falls forward for a first down. Now King going to drop back the pass, throws it, and it's going to be caught by Scott, and they're inside the 10 just like that. So they're going to work their way inside the 5, and King has a touchdown. So the quarterback can throw it with that big right arm, and he can run it with those big tree trunks he calls legs. That pass caught by Johnson, and we're inside enemy territory down to the 20-yard line. Going to work our way upfield to the 10, and we need one more yard. So second down and one, Williams gets the first down as we work our way inside the 5. Going to throw this one to Harris, caught, touchdown. Do you believe it? We have scored. Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. That pass caught. Bali had a chance for another user, but again, the timing is just off. It's just not good. We're playing not very good football right now. We're going to roll to the right side where Brooks is going to set his feet. No, he's just going to run. No, he's going to stop. He's going to throw it. Caught by Miller, and we're inside the 40. Second down and nine. Brooks going to roll to the left side because the old line is breaking down, and we eventually get stopped. Last chance to dance for Brooks in this Gremlin State offense. We throw it, and it's going to be tipped, and that will do it for this contest. 28-7 to is the final. We put up just 136 yards passing, one touchdown, one interception. We have thrown an interception every ball game, multiple, most of the time. So can we change that? in our last game versus Navy. Hopefully we can, because it will be a good look to have an offensive guru head coach not have a quarterback throw an interception every single contest. We had one sack. It was by Ryan Weber, who is also a freshman. The quarterback has changed his mind. He gave us a soft verbal, but he has signed elsewhere. I believe he went to Oklahoma. So we can give all these points to our center prospect and Scott Simmons. So hopefully he will sign on the dotted line. These guys have not signed anywhere, but they know they don't want to come the ground state white did go to oklahoma right there we lost the guys to texas to oklahoma troy moss he goes to florida state he is from florida it's not surprising there and now we have to suspend two more guys and we have no more points so they want to suspend Pete Williams for two quarters. This guy for no quarters, no game, no nothing. I'm like, let's just split the defense difference y'all all get a quarter each and that's all the points we have like like we we exhausted all of our discipline points and we're going to have to change our budget. And that's what I'm thinking. This team right now, even if we had the best training staff, I don't think they're going to be good enough to win. If we're still the head coach, because we can still get fired with our two wins in this in this season. Hopefully it could be three if we beat this team right here in Navy. And it could just be three wins in the first two seasons, which would be just awful. Harris makes a catch right there, third down three. But like I said, we might have to change the budget some more. And training might be the one area where we just don't focus any points on. So the kick is up, and the kick is no good, and we should probably leave some training just for a kicker. That, that might be a good idea. Olsen gets brought down by Weber. Weber's had himself a good second half of the season, to say the least. Johnson going to get loose, and Johnson will work his way up to the 40-yard line. Now we're going to go to the air just to get sacked. And that's not a very, very good look right there. So instead of having a second down and short, it turns into third down and long. That pass off of the hands of Miller. 
And we got to get the ball right back to the midshipman. Mitchell, or Hatchell, excuse me. Hatchell is loose. He's like, you're going to remember my name. And I'm like, yes. Yes, I will. Hatchell going to cross that goal line. Touchdown. Second down. Four yards to go. Brooks under some pressure. And down he goes via the sack. Third down and six. Going to roll to the right side. And we get hit. But at least, you know, it's ruled an incompletion instead of a sack. Hatchell gets the carry, and Hatchell is loose. To the 20, to the 15, inside the 10, and finally dragged down by Pete Williams. And now Ryan is hurt. So now they're going to run a little end around. No, not going to happen. We blow that play up. My D-line coming through in the major way. Second down and goal. Olsen going to roll to the left side, and that's going to be a sack by Monroe. So we're doing our thing, to say the least. And then third down and goal, Olsen throws a heat sinking missile that finds his target named Dawson. And that's going to be a touchdown for the midshipmen using their passing attack. We're going to drop this one off to Pete Williams, and he's going to work his way up for a gain of 9. 0 for 3 on third down. Let's make it 1 for 3, or 1 for 4. And we will make it 1 for 4. We're converting 1 every 4 tries. So 25%. Not great, but it could be worse. That pass off of the hands of Harris. It is raining, and I've made plenty of mistakes this season. Not going to be too mad at you there. Throwing this one to Glover, and that pass is intercepted. And, yes, this season has just been a, a just, it's been hard. Really hard. As Hatchel is loose. Hatchel is like, oh, my goodness gracious. Olsen hands it to Hatchel. And Hatchel's in the end zone yet again. So 21 nothing. 50 seconds ago here in the second quarter. We got time, but our passing attack has not been that great. But we do connect the dots right there. But that's shy of the first down. We'll punt that one away. And then they get in the field goal range. But they don't want the field goal. They fumble it. And then Gumby is like, yo, I'm taking this one to the crib. Look at the big fella. Breaking tackles. And then have the audacity to high step on this. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely just frustration through the roof. Hatchel breaking tackles and falling forward. And that's going to be a gain of three. Second down and seven. They give it to him again. Pete Williams is there for the takedown. But after they have a first down. From the 40 yard line, they give it to him again. This time, Pete Williams had his head in the clouds. He did not recognize run. And Hatchel ran right past him. But Pete is fast. He catches him before he gets to the end zone. From the six yard line, Hatchel into the end zone one more time. 28, excuse me, 35 to nothing. Pete Williams on offense, though. Crosses the 30. Works his way up to the 35 yard line. Brooks to the left side, throws that thing deep, and that pass will be caught and then dropped by Harris. It was a big hit, so again, I ain't going to be mad at you. Lawson, he gets there for the takedown. Nice tackle there. Third down, Mitchell. There he goes. Touchdown. They brought in their backups, and their backups are better than us. And, and hey, sometimes that's just the way it is. Williams to the 50, and Williams is going to make sure that he picks up a first down. From the 47 now. We need seven on second down. Going to find Richards. Is that enough for the first down? It's close, but no bueno. Brooks breaks one tackle. Then the guy he got away from got back up and got to him. That's just that LT motor. You know what I'm saying? Never give up on the play. Williams to the outside, though, on fourth down. Picks up the first down. Now I'm going to throw this one to Weber, who's wide open. And that's going to be caught by our big tight end lined up in the slot. Going to a little screen pass to Williams. That pass is caught. Ten. Breaks the tackle at the five, dives for the end zone, but comes up just a little bit short. So first and goal, let him run this one in. Breaks the tackle, and he will get across the goal line. Touchdown! And that is going to do it. 42-7 to seven is the final. The season comes to an end, and the question on everybody's mind, at least my mind, is did we keep our job? Because you're going to know before you are able to set the budget. So if we're able to set the budget, then we know that... Um, that we're okay. <laughs> if we can't set the budget, then we are fired and Gremlin State Dynasty has come to an end. And maybe I should start rethinking, leaving firing on. For the most part, we do good, though. For the most part, we do good. We've never really been fired before. SAU, we were. And this is my first ever Dynasty way back, way back, way back when, as we do sign the center. So I really didn't know how it worked. So I exited out of the game thinking that it would pop back up because I wasn't recording at the time. So I wanted to exit the game so I could record everything. And again, this is like years ago. Um, and then when I got back in the game, the firing option was off. Because I guess it's not just what you do at your program, it's what other coaches do at their program, whether they think they can upgrade that coach or not. I think that's how it works, surprisingly enough. So, hey, it is what it is. So, James Atkins, I believe that's Bush, he got himself a Heisman for Louisville as a running back. 
that's a good look. Brooks will finish with 3,200 yards passing, 14 touchdowns, 27 interceptions. Eric Johnson averaged 5.4 yards a carry. And then you got my boy Pat Williams averaging 12 yards per carry. Bush averaging 7.7 .7 yards per carry. Obviously, they had less carries than Johnson, so that kind of helped their average to stay high. Uh, when it comes to receiving, though, Harris with 54 of them things, 796 yards wide, six touchdowns to lead the whole team. Pete Williams led the team in tackles with 41, eight total eight tackles for loss, excuse me, for Weber's three sacks. So, again, a total of six sacks this season by our defense. So, again, we have a lot to improve on. Here goes the bowl results. FIU, they lose to Tulsa. Ken State, they get beat down by Florida State. UTEP, they beat Toledo. And then Utah State, they beat Ball State. Houston, they fall to Idaho. Pittsburgh, they beat Air, Air Force. Then Fresno State, they are going to lose to Marshall. And then Boise State, I believe they beat NC State by one. SMU, they lose. Alabama, they would lose to Texas A&M. Notre Dame, they lose to Virginia. Texas would lose to Iowa. Virginia Tech, they would beat Syracuse. Connecticut would lose. They would beat Oklahoma by three. Excuse me. TCU, they would beat Miami of, of Ohio. <laughs> Cal, they would lose to Nebraska. And then you see the rest. It's going too fast for me to keep up. Purdue, they would lose in the Outback Bowl to Florida. So I saw that one. And then Capital One Bowl, Michigan would lose by one point to Auburn. Oregon State, they would drop this game to LSU. Sugar Bowl, West Virginia comes up short versus South Kakalaki. And then Texas Tech, they would lose to Miami. And Ohio State in, in USC. I mean, the Fiesta Bowl with USC winning. And now we get to set our budget. So we keep our job. Going to take training down to 10%. Add five more to recruiting. And, yeah, five to discipline. And hopefully that can lead us to a solid season. Because I believe we signed a three-year deal. <laughs> so this could be it. We got to do a good job in recruiting. And, yeah. Hopefully it will be a good season. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope that the rest of the day is the best of your day. And until you meet again, my friends, peace, love, hot sauce.